going, everyone? This is the Erie Bitter Beer Bureau. I'm guest reviewer Joe. And I'm Warren. Uh, Joe was nice enough to uh, bring over Spirit Beast from Jackie O's. Uh, he went down to the brewery, right? Yeah. And it was in celebration of their 10th anniversary. 10th anniversary, two weeks ago, yeah. Uh, this is a strong ale of like six different beers. Yeah, as they said, six different beers aged in a variety of uh, cognac and bourbon barrels. Yeah, and they said something about the, you know, choice barrels obtained through friends. It's 11%. Yeah. And uh, any other things they need to know about it? I think you'll enjoy it. All right. Oh, wow. It's hearty. <laughs> that has quite a nose on it. Definitely, obviously, bourbon... Cognac, mm -hmm. I get the wood too. Yeah, like a berry kind of fruitiness I get, like a rich dark berry. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely certainly has that, you know, fruit component to it, mm -hmm. no doubt about that. Not getting too much booze on the nose. It's no. just an overall, mm -hmm. like, really rich and hearty yeah. smelling. I don't know how long they left it in all these barrels before yeah, they blended it together, you. but right. uh, it's it's awesome time, right. that's for sure. Yeah, you're not missing any of that barrel. I get some like kind of caramelized dark fruits. Yeah, I think. yeah, like yeah. figs. Especially yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say, you know, you hate to, you know, say the same <laughs> fruits all over again sometimes, but absolutely, I get dates, I get right. figs. You yeah. know what I mean? It's woody. Yeah, this is still pretty cool, so it'll it be is. fun to see how it warms up. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That kind of keeps on coming. It does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I got a few different waves of wood yeah. and sweetness and bourbon and, yep. you know, cognac. Yeah. Plenty of barrel. I'm just thinking like figs with like some brown sugar. Right. Yeah. It it does. It it it, it has, you know, that dark fruit uh, component carries over in and, mm -hmm. and I do. It is sugary. It's sweet, but it's not. It's not too sweet. No. You know. No. I think you get enough oak from the barrel. Um, Like a slight mm. bit of char. It's not roast. Yeah. But it's like I was gonna say, mm, like almost from like, the barrel. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> this beer is barrel heavy. It is. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. And it drinks like a strong ale. It I does. mean, it's you know, it definitely you know right away it, it is darker in color, but you know right away it's not an imperial right. stout or anything right. like that. Right. You know, um, it's 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 much thinner than an imperial stout but it has this sticky mm -hmm. you know kind of yeah. consistency to it and a beer um that it's sort of reminding me of they're different but um the barrel aged flying mouflon mm -hmm. from troves wasn't in any cognac barrels but i'm getting um it was a very dark rich yes like, sort of chocolatey and barley wine right and this finish especially, I mean, I remember the first time I drank it, I was like, this is eerily similar to I think to it that is, beer. too, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, out of all the beers that I've had mm -hmm. that I could compare it to, I think that's a great comparison. Right. Yeah. All right, so on the Spirit Beast from Jackie O's, um, I'm going four and a half. I think this is a remarkable beer, and Maury and I were chatting before we started the video, and... I've been impressed with what Jackie O's has been doing with their beers in general, but also um, with the stuff they've been putting in barrels, and they just seem to be getting... One thing we didn't really touch on was the mouthfeel. It's, I mean, it's not huge and chewy, right. but it's very rich. Um, it lingers forever. Yeah. Um, it's really good. And, um, you know, this is just an example uh, they released for their 10th anniversary of another beer that they've, I think, done a really great job with. Really great job blending. Uh, immensely complex um, with a bunch of stuff from the barrels going on. And uh, obviously, you blend six different beers together, you're going to get yeah. a bunch of different influences, and they all meld together really well. So 
four and a half out of five for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm right on that cusp between, uh, you know, a four and a half to even a four seven five. I mean, mm. you know, if you if you're really judging it as a strong ale, you know, part of me, you know, maybe a couple times I've sipped it, I forgot it's not an imperial stout. Right. I'm like, oh, it's a little thin, but it's it's a strong ale, right. and it had like you said, it has that richness, that stickiness to the mouth feel. Mm. Uh, if you like barrel driven beers, um, this one, like I said, not only is it barrel heavy, but it has some nice complexities it does, to yeah. it. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to round it up and give it to 4.75. The more and more I thought about it, uh, you know, I'm really probably somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to round up on this one. I'm going to give it to 4.75. Awesome. I appreciate you sharing it with me. Yeah, it's my pleasure, man. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.